I was always passionate about teaching and I was fascinating about how people learn. And I started to teach music uh, when I was 16 years old. I started to teach a piano to young people, but also little groups of students and preschoolers. And so I was fascinated with that aspects of teaching music and it has been a constant throughout my life. I was also always interested in to health and helping people. And in my teens, I had already started to volunteer by spending time into long-term care facility. When I came to university, I was helping with the uh, Children's Aid Society and working with children that were deaf and other children that had severe cases of, uh, of autism. So that was always part of it. And then throughout my career at the university, I did a lot of uh, interdisciplinary work with other researchers. Uh, so it was always part of the work I did to combine those aspects and looking at learning, looking at teaching, looking at various groups, then looking at musicians' health, uh, physical and mental health. And eventually, uh, now I brought together a little bit of all those experience and passion. I'm bringing back music education in my training in Dalcro's uh, Eurythmics, Music and Movement, and ORF training with percussion percussion improvisations. I'm bringing that back, but into health and uh, social context. I'm bringing back my interest with those groups of people. <clears throat> And I'm also uh, bringing uh, my interest in research and in multidisciplinary research. So uh, I've had you know, over two decades of experience working in different research culture uh, because every discipline has its own way of approaching research. So it's very, very familiar with me. And uh, I was able to group people from various group, various fields of research uh, to put everything together uh, for that uh, work in music and health.